Hello grade 9 students, teacher B is here again. Punta na tayo sa learning task number 3, apply the laws of rational exponents and simplifying the expression. Ang gagawin na natin dito is isa-simplify natin itong mga fractional exponent natin at isusulat natin siya into radicals. Okay, apply na natin yung natutunan din natin about radicals dun sa learning task number 2, remember? So, tinatransform natin yung mga fractional exponent into radicals. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin dito. Pero, i-apply din natin yung laws about rational exponents. Simulan natin sa number 1. Meron tayo ditong given na quantity A raised to 1 half, B raised to 2 thirds, over A raised to 2 over 5, and B raised to 3 fourths, then raised to 6. Imumultiply natin or i-distribute natin yung 6 sa bawat exponent na meron tayo. Ita times natin bali itong 6 sa 1 half, sa 2 thirds, sa 2 over 5, and 3 fourths. Kaya ito yung lalabas natin. Ito yung lalabas kapag dinimes natin yan. So 6 times 1 is 6 over 2. Kaya meron tayong 6 over 2. Then 6 times 2 is 12. Then over 3. 6 times 2 is 12 over 5. And 6 times 3 is 18 over 4. Remember, ang 6 over 1 yan. Kaya, pag tinimes mo yan, 1 times yung denominator na 2, 2 pa rin. 1 times yung 3, 3 pa rin. 1 times 5, 5. And then, 1 times 4 is 4. Kaya, yung mga denominator nila is ganyan. Ang may multiply lang natin ay yung numerator. Kasi nga, automatic 1 yung denominator nitong whole number natin na 6. And then, simplify na natin yung mga fractional exponents. So, mga pwede masimplify, simplify natin. Katulad itong 6 over 2, tsaka yung 12 over 3, pwede natin itong masimplify. Kaya magiging A raised to 3, then B raised to 4. Okay. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Itong nasa baba, hindi na natin masisimplify. Kaya, just copy na lang. Okay, copy na lang natin yan. Next, about naman sa loss of exponents natin pagdating sa division, ang ginagawa natin, minaminus natin sila, remember? Kaya itong a raised to 3, divide natin sa a raised to 12 over 5. Same base sila, or pareho silang a. Kaya pwede natin i-minus yung, yung exponent nila. I-minus natin yung 3 sa 12 over 5. Bakit tayo nag-minus? Kasi ito ay divide at pareho sila ng base. Kaya pwede tayong mag-subtract. So, ipakita ko na lang muna yung subtraction dito sa 3 and uh, 12 over 5. Okay? So, 3 minus 12 over 5. So, ang gawin na lang natin is cross multiplication na lang yung gamitin natin. Okay? So, automatic may over 1 na denominator to. So, 5 times 1. 5, multiply natin yung mga denominators, then cross multiply 3 times 5 is 15 minus 12 times 1 1 dito is 12 15 minus 12 is 3, then copy yung denominator na 5 ang sagot natin dito, pag minus mo itong 3 and 12 over 5 3 over 5 i-minus din natin itong b raised to 4 over b raised to 18 over 4 Pwede rin natin silang i-minus or pwedeng i-divide kasi same base. Kaya kung same base, pwedeng i-divide at pwedeng i-minus yung kanilang exponent. So, i-minus natin yung 4 sa 18 over 4. Ganun pa rin, over 1 to, so 4 times 1 is 4. Then, cross multiply, 4 times 4 is 16 and 18 times yung 1 is 18. I-minus na natin. 16 minus 18, ang lalabas dyan ay negative 2. Negative 2 over 4. At pwede pa itong masimplify dahil itong 2 and 4 ay parehong divisible sa 2. Pag divide mo yan pareho, magiging negative 1 half. Dahil na-simplify na natin yung mga exponent nila, edi isulat na natin ang maayos. Isama na natin yung a and b. Ito na siya. 
a raised to 3 over 5, ito yung nakuha natin kanina, nung minus natin yung mga exponent, and yung b raised to negative 1 half. Next, natatandaan ninyo na dapat ang negative exponent ay maalis or ma wala tong negative na exponent na to. At para mawala yan, kukunin natin yung reciprocal nito B. Or simply, ilalagay na lang natin siya sa denominator. Pagkatapos, pag nilagay na natin to sa denominator, yung B raised to negative 1 half, okay, ito na siya. So, B, yung 1, so mawawala na yung negative niya kasi nilagay natin siya sa ilalim or yung reciprocal natin. Okay, may 1 dyan, exponent niya, and ito yung 2 na index. So, galing dito sa denominator. And then, ito naman, yung a raised to 3 over 5, wala naman na tayong gagalawin dito, itatransform na lang natin siya into radical. Yung a natin, the base, ito yung magiging radical, or ilalagay natin sa loob ng radical sign, yung 3, ang numerator, yun yung ilalagay natin dito sa exponent nitong radikan. And yung 5 na denominator, yun yung magiging index natin. Okay? Kaya ito yung answer na natin. Hindi na natin ito masasimplify, kaya ito na yung final answer. Okay? Medyo mahaba yung solution, no? <laughs> Tsaka, yung iba parang masyasyak dito kasi puro fractions. Parang hirap pag fraction. Pero hindi, kaya niya yan. Basta dahan-dahan lang. Kung nahihirapan kayo, edi try ulit ng try. Okay? Next, punta tayo sa number 2. So, ganun pa rin. M, quantity m raised to negative 3 fourths and raised to 3, then raised to 1 thirds. Again, i-apply pa rin natin yung loss of exponents. So, power to power ulit. Mumultiply natin yung 1 third sa bawat exponent nila. So, negative 3 fourths times 1 third and 3 times 1 third. Kaya magiging ganito, negative m, uh, m raised to negative 3 over 12 and n raised to 3 over 3. So, ito ay nakuha natin itong 3, negative 3 over 12 dito. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Ito naman, times naman natin sa 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Then 3 times 1, yung denominator nyo 1, is 3. And isimplify natin. Itong negative 3 over 12, pwede natin malowas term yan or masimplify ng negative 1 fourths. And yung 3 divide by 3 is 1 na lang or kahit hindi na natin isulat yung 1 kasi automatic may 1 na yan. Ito na yung magiging uh, answer natin, m raised to negative 1 fourths. Again, may negative na naman. Paano natin maaalis ang negative exponent? Kunin natin yung reciprocal nitong m raised to negative 1 fourth. Pagkatapos, matatanggal na yung ating negative exponent. Ilagay lang natin siya sa denominator. At ang magiging answer na natin is ito, yung n, hindi natin ginalaw, so nandyan lang siya. Itong m raised to negative 1 fourth, ginawa natin, nilagay natin sa denominator or reciprocal natin para maalis yung negative. At ito na siya. Pag ginawa mo na siyang radical sign, at pag ginawa mo na siyang radical, ito na siya. Fourth root of m na siya. Yung 1 na exponent ay n dito, 1. Tapos yung 4 ay yun yung index. Kasi ito yung ating denominator. Okay, next, number 3. Okay, ganun ulit. So, itong 2 i-multiply sa 1 fourth. Yung 2 i-multiply din sa 1 half. So, 2 times 1 fourth is 2 over 4. Then, 2 times 1 half is 2 over 2. Then, kopyahin natin yung 2 and x. Baka makalimutan natin. And as you can see, yung 2 fourths, ni lowest term pa natin. Kasi pwede mong i-divide pareho sa 2. Dahil pareho silang divisible sa 2, ito. So, kaya naging 1 half. And ito, 2 divided by 2 is 1 na lang. O, sulat na lang natin na x. Meron tayong nakikitang fractional exponent. Kaya, lagay natin o isulat natin ang fractional exponent into radical. At ang magiging final answer natin, 
x. So, yung x natin ay galing dito. Wala tayong ginalaw kasi wala akong fraction na exponent siya. Pero itong 2 raised to 1 half, ito yung pinasok natin dito sa radical sign. Kasi ito yung exponent na 1. At ito yung 1. Yung denominator. I mean, numerator. And yung index or denominator na 2 ang naging index. So, 1 and then half. Number 4. Ayan. Again, i-distribute ulit natin yung 1 over 6 sa 18. Ito times natin. Ganun din, yung 1 over 6, it times more than sa 12. So, madali lang. So, 18 times 1 is 18. Then, 18 over 6. 18 over 6 is 3. Kaya, x raised to 3. Then, dito, 12 times 1 is 12. Over 6 is 2. Kaya, x cubed over y is 2, 2. Number 5. So, parang... Medyo madugu ata ang computation natin dito. Quantity 4 ax raised to 8, y raised to 12, over 8z raised to 20, and raised to 1 fourth. Again, katulad ng mga ginawa natin kanina, yung 1 fourth, i-distribute natin sa bawat exponent ng mga numbers natin dito. So, yung 1 fourth, i-times natin dito sa 1 ng 4, na exponent, yung 1 exponent ng 4 and yung 1 fourth it times ulit sa 8 yung 1 fourth it times din sa 12 and yung 1 fourth it times sa 8 dito so may 1 na exponent to so it times mo sa 1 fourth and then yung 1 fourth it times din sa 20 ang lalabas ngayon kapag ginawa natin yun is ito Ayan. 4 raised to 1 fourth kasi 1 to so 1 times 1 fourth is 1 fourth then 8 times 1 fourth is 8 over 4, 8 times 1 is 8, then over 4, then 12 times 1 is 12 over 4, okay, and then ito, yung 1 fourth, it times sa 1 dito, so we have 1 fourth, 8 raised to 1 fourth, then 20 times 1 fourth is 20 over 4. Tignan natin yung mga pwedeng masimplify yung mga fractions, so makikita natin pwede mo isimplify itong x raised to 8 over 4. So, divide mo yan. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Then, 20 divided by 4 is 5. Itong 4 raised to 1 fourth and x raised to 1 fourth, sinulat at inobya lang natin. Pero, pwede pa natin itong mas, uh, mas simplify. Yung 4, pwede natin isulat ito exponential form na 2 squared. Then, raised to 1 fourth. Again, ito ay 4. Diba? 4 raised to 1 fourth. So, sinulat lang natin na 2 squared. Kasi 2 times 2 is 4 din naman. Then, times 1 fourth. So, ganun din. Tapos, dito sa baba, ang ginawa natin, dahil ito ay 8, ito 8 natin, ang factor niya is 4, oh, uh, 4 times 2. Tama? 4 times 2 is 8. Then, yung 4, isinulat natin into exponential form na 2 squared. So, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Then, raised to 1 fourth. Pagkatapos, itong 2 squared raised to 1 fourth, pwede natin nang masimplify. Tignan nyo. Pag tinimes mo itong 2 times 1 is 2, and then, 4 times 1, yung denominator nitong 1, is 4. So, 2 fourths. Pag simplify mo yung 2 fourths, magiging 1 half. So, 2 raised to 1 half. Again, yung 2 raised to 2 fourths, naging 2 raised to 1 half. Ibig sabihin, ganito yung mangyayari. Itong kanina, na 2 raised to 2, then raised to 1 fourth, gagawin na natin siyang 2 raised to 1 half. Okay, ito na siya. 2 raised to 1 half. Then, kinopya lang natin yung x squared y cube. Bakit may 2 raised to 1 half din dito sa galing to? And then, may 2 raised to 1 fourth. Okay. Ito kasing 1 fourth ay dinistribute natin or minultiply natin sa bawat exponent nila. So, ito pag tinimes yung 2 sa 1 fourth, so 2 times 1 is 2 over 4. So, magiging 2 over 4. Di 1 half siya. Pwede mong simplify yung 2 
raised to two fourths ng two raised to one half. Kaya nakuha natin yung two raised to one half dito. So galing yan dito. Nung minultiply itong two squared dito sa one fourth. And huwag kumutan yung two. May one na exponent yan. So pag times mo yan, one na yan sa one fourth, hindi magiging two raised to one fourth. And itong z raised to five, just copy. Ayan. And pwede na nating ma-divide itong 2 raised to 1 half kay divide by 2 raised to 1 half. So, pwede na natin yung i-cancel or we can say that this is equal to 1 na lang. Alisig na natin yan. Matitira na lang is x squared y cubed over 2 raised to 1 fourth z raised to 5. Meron pa rin tayong fractional exponent dito. Gawin lang natin siyang radical sign. So, pinopia lang natin yung x squared and y cubed over. Inuna natin sinulat yung z over 5. So, wala tayong ginago dyan. Sinulat lang natin sa unahan. Yung 2 raised to 1 fourth, ay yun yung ginawa nating radical expression. So, itong 2 yung ating magiging radicand o yung nasa loob ng radical sign. Pagkatapos yung 1 na numerator, fractional exponent. Tapos andito, yung exponent niya na 1. And then yung 4, na denominator dito ang naging index. Okay?